great round out there today. Do you, do you, I mean, what, five? Well, six back now. Um, were, were you thinking getting contention, or were you just thinking as many points as you can get today, or what was the thought process? Um, you know, there was, there was kind of a time where I was way back and then kind of got it going on the back nine. So, I mean, I was just trying to play good, and, you know, they kept kind of going in and got a little bit closer, but, you know, it's just nice to have a good week. Uh, 20 under wins this tournament a lot of times. Are you going to look back at this and say you just kind of ran out of holes or Keegan was just too good? Or Yeah, I mean, he's obviously playing great. You know, there's a bunch of guys at 18, 19 under. Um, you know, conditions were pretty good, obviously. <laughs> it rained yesterday and got a little softer and, you know, I think made the course a little, you know, more receptive. But uh, that's just how it goes, you know. Some some weeks they take it deeper than they did the last year. But um, it's just any time you get to 20 under, at least for me, that's really good. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about your journey with the major medical and the exemption and getting here? And Yeah. Um, out for a couple of years with a shoulder uh, – Injury, torn labrum in my right shoulder, and uh, yeah, took took about two years off basically, um, and had like 24 starts. So it was basically what I thought was almost close to a full year. Um, started at Safeway, and you know, I've had a couple of good weeks, but uh, you know, I think I got like eight starts left or something like that, maybe seven. So just need to keep doing that. Are you a numbers cruncher? Do you do you even know? Will you crunch the numbers after tonight, or have I'm hoping I take second place, and, you know, that takes care of a lot of it. (laughs) But, uh, you know, it's kind of like there's too many events left, and I think I only have eight, and that has to get get me all the way through the fall basically now. So it's I don't even know how many events there are in the fall. I don't even know if they know how many events there are in the fall. So there's no use really crunching the numbers. What are you playing coming up? Play next week and John Deere and figure it out after that. Where are you physically? Do you think you're all the way back? I mean, this has got to do a lot for your confidence. Yeah, my shoulder feels good. My shoulder has felt, you know, good all year. Um, you know, it's usually like a, a year-ish for a torn labrum, and I was out for about two just to kind of start in Napa instead of starting in the middle of, uh, you know, the season, that uh, last season basically. So shoulder feels good. It's kind of every week's different, though. When you were out those two years, um, how much golf? I know you didn't play out there. How much? When could you start playing golf after the surgery? Like six or seven months after, you know, is when I played my first round, I think, um, and took it pretty easy. Kind of, you know, went from playing once a week and twice a week and three times a week, and then, uh, you know, my first major medical start on the like rehab start on the corn ferry tour was last year in the summer so that was kind of the first test to see if i could actually go play for seven days in a row basically you don't like sitting you don't that's gotta be the most most time you've spent not playing golf yeah i mean not even close basically went from you know playing 18 or 36 holes every day for you know the last seven eight years to uh you know, not touching a club for five, six, seven months. Yeah. It was cool, though. You know, I got to hang out with my family and build a golf course and do a lot of other fun stuff. But, you know, it's obviously cooler to do shoot 62 on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, thanks.